the old dirt road. They say those who drive down that old dirt road never come back. Some call it cursed, others haunted, but I had to see for myself. The road wasn't on any maps. Heck, my GPS couldn't even find it. But I'd heard the rumors and tracked down its general location, call it morbid curiosity. I found the road by accident when my car broke down in the middle of nowhere. It was almost hidden, overgrown with weeds and barely wide enough for a single car. Thick, gnarled trees crowded in on both sides, their branches reaching over like skeletal arms. A tattered sign read, Briar Hill Ard, in faded letters. This was it. Against my better judgment, I started walking down the narrow lane, leaves crunching under my feet. The woods were unnaturally quiet. No birds, no insects, only my footsteps and ragged breathing. The air grew heavy and still. After half a mile, I emerged into a clearing dominated by a crumbling Victorian mansion. Paint peeled from its rotting clapboards, and the roof sagged ominously. It looked long abandoned, but I could swear I saw a flicker of movement in one of the darkened windows. A sudden chill ran through me, and I took a step back. That's when I heard it. An unearthly moan emanating from inside the decaying house, filled with unfathomable pain and despair. I turned and ran back down the road as fast I could, my heart pounding wildly. By the time I reached my car, I was in a near panic. I fixed the engine with shaking hands and sped away without looking back. To this day I don't know what I saw or heard on that accursed road. Part of me still wonders. But another part of me knows I'm lucky to have escaped that malevolent place. I've never gone back, and I never will. There are some roads you go down from which there is no return.